quite exciting congress because uh, a lot of really nice, interesting topics are covered. I, in my opinion, the most interesting part is uh, uh, all the scientific works on uh, the mechanism, uh, studying on, the, on different mechanism of most severe disease, uh, most severe allergic disease such as severe asthma, severe urticaria or uncomfortable atopic uh, dermatitis. And in this congress it's really full of, uh, of, uh, of sessions in which uh, uh, at least one or two topics are on this, uh, uh, on this, uh, on this particular mechanism. I personally choose, uh, uh, choose, a, choose a sort of pathways with the, between the, all the sessions, uh, uh, depending on my personal interest, of course, and on uh, the, the current, my current research. In particular, uh, my current research is on uh, severe asthma and uh, severe nasal polyposis and the use of uh, uh, biologicals in these two diseases, uh, and also um, part of my research is on still on other diseases such as urticaria. So I uh, try to focus the attention on these two free diseases because otherwise uh, it's really wide and it's difficult to, 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 find, uh, to find the right way to, to go in deep uh, in, uh, each, uh, in each topic. Uh, well, it was a very interesting, uh, uh, very interesting uh, session. It was an oral abstract session, so uh, uh, there were con original contribution by generally young authors, and that's quite uh, an interesting thing. And uh, uh, as the title says, uh, all the, 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 the papers were on asthma mechanisms, uh, so they were mostly uh, basic immunology studies uh, and uh, I must say the most interesting uh, topics that were covered uh, are were the interaction between uh, uh, between the, 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 the environment in terms for example of allergens uh, and uh, the uh, airy epithelium because now we know that hairy epithelium is not uh, anymore only a barrier, but it's a, a, an active barrier which uh, also produces uh, uh, some cytokines and try to induce uh, a, an underlying inflammation uh, uh, depending on the uh, on the, the stimuli on the outside stimuli. So, and there were some some interesting uh, research uh, during this session that. that they really, uh, really focused their attention on this point and they found the new mechanisms and that's, uh, that was really, really interesting. Well, it was, a, it was a, a, an interactive session. It was a new kind of session for Yaki Congress. Uh, also, the, the setting of the room was uh, atypical because there were only or a lot of tables and people were sitting around tables with a computer so they can comment at the, my presentation and other presentation sending messages by computers uh, and I was also invited to be very interactive with the, with the, with the audience. Uh, the, uh, this, the, the, the session was uh, interesting because it was covering a, a really uh, forgotten topic I must say which is uh, the difficulty in making a correct diagnosis, uh, in particular with uh, for asthma, and my talk was on misdiagnosis of asthma because uh, in uh, primary care at least, but I also think in, uh, in some uh, specialist uh, centers, maybe I hope not in reference sensor centers, uh, the misdiagnosis of asthma is still very high. So uh, clinical diagnosis of asthma is not uh, enough, so clinical signs and symptoms are the settings in which you have to suspect asthma and then you have to go further with uh, lung function tests and so on to, in order to confirm and define the exact phenotype of asthma. And uh, uh, this, this second part uh, uh, often is lacks at least in, uh, in primary care and that uh, uh, that is the reason of a high proportion, about 
30-35% in many studies in different parts of the world of misdiagnosis of asthma. That means uh, that there, are, there is a proportion of patients who are over-treated or at least not correctly treated for their disease. I think that this kind of interactive uh, uh, workshops are really important because they give the opportunity to 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 the attendant, the attendees, uh, in particular to students, to to postgraduate students, young doctors, uh, uh, to, uh, to 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 make a lot of questions, uh, to discuss the, the and directly discuss the, the the topics together with the speakers, uh, and this is in a in an informal uh, uh, environment, which which is, is absolutely easier for everyone to to to. To, uh, to take uh, to, to, to give their uh, their opinion and so on. So in the, even the, the the shyest people can uh, can uh, interact by computer. So they, they have really an opportunity to to, to share these uh, the, the, all the, the their their things, their thoughts, and, and try to to uh, to compare their vision with the vision of uh, of the speakers. Uh, I really enjoy taking part in these uh, these uh, kind of uh, workshops, uh, both as as speaker and as an attendee. So when I also when I have time during this congress, I always try to find the, the time to go to to this kind of interactive uh, sessions. This is another inter very interactive session. It's an early morning session, a breakfast session, so you can have breakfast together with the, with the attendees. There are a few attendees, you know, it's a, it's a close group. Uh, and the idea is to, to give them some evidence-based uh, um, suggestions on how to, in this case, how to uh, face uh, with occupational uh, asthma and occupational heart uh, airway disease uh, and try to discuss with them which are the main problems uh, uh, in, uh, in, 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 in the clinical practice when uh, facing with an occupational disease and how to solve them and try to, try to make easier the, the diagnostic pathway and so the, the management of this disease. As I told you before, this, uh, this kind of session, the lounge sessions are uh, very informal. Uh, breakfast, generally they are making the breakfast at the time, so it's breakfast sessions. Uh, people are invited to, to interact a lot with the, with the speaker. Uh, the speaker also uh, has the, to, to the, 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 the duty to involve the, 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 the attendees uh, in order to share uh, his opinion, his or her opinion with them and their opinion with him and try to arrive to a sort of conclusion uh, which is an agreed conclusion together. Uh, I think the only possible uh, things that I may suggest to, to the organizers uh, is that breakfast is nice but unfortunately not so many people are attending breakfast uh, sessions and so maybe trying to find another time slot could be, would be better to increase the attention for, uh, from, from the attendees. Um, in my opinion this Congress really pointed the attention on how precision medicine uh, in allergy is is becoming the real the real new world. We are entering an era uh, of uh, different biological treatments, and that means that uh, you have to 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 study your patient not only under the clinical point of view but also under the biological point of view uh, in order to phenotype them and to, to find the, the right treatment for each patient. And the, the, the main message of this Congress is that this is the right way to go, for, to, to give the best health management to, to a patient. So uh, the precision approach to the patient. Well, the Yaki Congress is, uh, is full of different sessions. It's, uh, it take, uh, takes uh, over uh, 
a lot of different topics. So what I suggest to all the, the attendees, maybe the new attendees for Yaki, is to uh, uh, to try to find a, a pathway between uh, between the sessions uh, according to the, your interests. Maybe also reserving a, a small part uh, on new things because you always have to, to to learn new things and not always focusing on what you already know. And uh, the last but not the least part is. Uh, uh, enjoy also the possibility to uh, to make contacts, uh, to 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 try to find new colleagues, uh, new collaborations. Uh, IACI is not only IACI Congress is not only a scientific pro uh, event; it's also uh, a social event, and uh, it's important to to come back home uh, with a lot of knowledge, but also a lot of contacts and new ideas to to work together because now we we. Uh, the, the science without collaboration uh, is not possible anymore. I really enjoyed this mixture of science, high levels of science, the possibility to, to, to create collaborations with colleagues, and also the possibility to enjoy uh, a nice city and uh, a nice environment together with friends because I must say that uh, generally when you attend more than one Yaki you start becoming friends too. I have a lot of, of friends in this, uh, in this conference.